All right, Schlockmeister fans, one of the first horror movies I ever saw. It's The Last Man on Earth, Vincent Price. Let's check it out. Our film starts out. We see images of uh, the Earth. Cities are empty. And there's dead bodies strewn about. Apparently he is the last man on earth, or at least he thinks so. He makes stakes. Just wide enough to keep the flesh apart so their body seal can't function. And how many more of these will I have to make before they're all destroyed? So he keeps his giant pit burning, and uh, he takes the dead bodies that he finds and dumps them in it. Quite a life he has. And he spends part of his day looking for people, and finding them, and killing them. So who are these people? Well, I don't know if they're zombies or vampires or what, but they only come out at night. So they sleep during the day, and that's when he goes after them. Before this all happened, he did have a wife. She died. Birds. Birds. God, how I miss you. He fell asleep. The sun's already set. They'll be everywhere. He has a few troubles getting home, but he does get there. Apparently these creatures cannot stand the sight of themselves, so he puts up a mirror all over the place, and they also don't like garlic. Very vampiric. A lot of this film is told in flashback, and we learn about the plague. It's highly theoretical, Ben. He and his wife also had a child, a daughter. But he came home the next day and uh, his daughter was gone. His wife called a doctor and of course the doctor reported it. They came and took her away. Again. Hey, you don't belong in here. Get out. I said get out. I want my daughter. Mr. A lot of daughters are in there, including my own. Shortly thereafter, Virginia, his wife, dies too. Apparently, Mr. Morgan there is immune to this virus. So he buries her. And later on that night he hears somebody whispering, let me in. present day. Morgan! We're going to kill you, Morgan! Morgan! And one day he spots something amazing. A dog. 
like people, the dogs were all gone too. more bodies that he didn't kill. Then lo and behold he finds a woman. That's Ruth. Wait, I'm not gonna hurt you, can't you understand? Wait! He catches her and takes her to his place. Tests her with garlic. Please stop, please. Stop it, please. You're making me sick. Why do you please. turn away? Please. Why do you turn away? <laughs> She's infected too. You are infected. <laughs> you are one of them. I was. Without no injection, I'll be one again. What do you mean? You found the solution? Turns out he's been killing some people he shouldn't be. And you want me to join? You didn't know it, though. You can't join us. You're a monster to them. Why do you think I ran when I saw you? Even though I was assigned to spy on you. She says he's a legend in the city and she's there to hold him. Because they want to kill him. No. Is there any way you can get out of here? What do you mean? They're coming after you tonight. That's why I was sent here. To prevent you from resisting them. I'm supposed to keep you here. Meanwhile, he gives a transfusion to her. From him. Look. Look. She's been saved. And she wandered outside and got bit. Are you alright? Are you alright? And then some others show up. Those are the ones that are coming to kill him. So he tries to hide. And those guys are killing zombies left left and right, or vampires, or whatever the hell they are. end up chasing him. A shootout occurs. He shoots some of them. They manage to shoot him too. He ends up in a church. They were afraid of me. They were afraid of me. I didn't know. That's our movie. Alright, let's talk about the the House on Haunted Hill. Nope, we're not talking about that. We're talking about The Last Man on Earth, which is on the same disc here as The House on Haunted Hill, two Vincent Price movies. It's a public domain feature. In fact, i got to tell you this movie here. I was watching it. It's an hour and 26 minute long, and at the hour and 22 minute mark, uh, my disc froze. It just wouldn't play. In fact, I tried it in two different players, and it still plays. So this might be getting old. I don't know. So, thankfully, being public domain, I had another disc called The Dead Walking. The zombies are coming. So I watched it on this one. The last four minutes, anyway. So, anyway, this movie was based on a book. I think it was called I Am Legend. I think that's what it was called. And they've made three movies of this. The Last Man on Earth, 1957. They made The Omega Man in 1974, maybe. And then they made I Am Legend with uh, Will Smith in 2007, I think. Um, so they made three versions of this movie. This Last Man on Earth is actually one of the very first horror movies I ever watched. Um, growing up where I did, uh, we had a local TV station up in Green Bay, Wisconsin, that had a show called TJ and the Ant, All Night Theater, The Ant. It was on Friday nights or was it Saturday nights? I think it was Friday nights, actually. And they would show, like, two horror movies back-to-back -back starting at 10.30 after the news, I think. And uh, one night uh, they played The Last Man on Earth, which I think my dad had seen, and he recommended it to me, so I watched it. I think we watched it together, actually. So it's a very nostalgic movie for me, this one, for sure. I was a little kid watching this one, and I loved it, and I still like it. Um, he plays Vincent Price the quote-unquote last man on earth. 
Um, at least that's what he thinks he has. Apparently, we see some flashbacks in this movie. There was a plague that came through um, and a virus of some sort that killed off almost everybody. Now, it's a strange thing here because um, the people end up dying, but if you don't burn them, they come back to life. And that's what happens with his wife, actually. His wife died. He buried her in the backyard somewhere in a field. And she came back knocking on the door saying, uh, let me in, let me in. And the door opened and then she reached out for him. It was creepy as hell, that scene, actually. Uh, but anyway, some for some reason, Vincent Price is immune to all of this stuff and nothing happens to him. And then he spends his days uh, rounding up bodies and throwing them in a pit. Now, these people that come back to life who haven't been burned... I don't know if they're zombies, vampires, or what. There's a little bit of uh, both in them. At one point, uh, one of them bites somebody and eats part of her. Uh, but they also have zombie qualities, or, or I'm sorry, vampire qualities. They come out only at night. Uh, they are repelled uh, by garlic, and he stakes them through the heart. So it's never really clear as to exactly what these things are. But he goes out in the daytime, finds where they're sleeping, and, and uh, stakes them, kills them. Then one day he finds a dog, and then later on a woman, and he chases her down, and it turns out she is part of some people who are still alive. They have some sort of vaccine, and um, he, Vincent Price has been killing some of her people, uh, thinking that they were vampires, so he has been making horrible mistakes. So she was sent kind of as bait to um, hold him, and then uh, her people are going to come that night and kill him. Well, while she's there... He gives her some of his blood, um, like a transfusion. Next thing you know, she's healed. She's been using this vaccine, and uh, she has to take a dose every so often. Otherwise, she turns into one of those creatures, too, or dies, or whatever the hell it is. But now she's cured as well, so he's thinking, we can cure everybody now. But, of course, the other people don't know that, so they show up, and they start shooting. They kill a lot of the creatures, and then they start chasing uh, Vincent Price. He shoots back at them. They end up shooting him. He ends up dying in a church. And that's pretty much the end of our movie. So very similar to kind of the Night of the Living Dead, which was also a black and white film. In fact, there were some scenes in this movie that you could have taken out of there and put Night of the Living Dead. You never know they were from a different film. George Romero, I believe, said he stole a lot of the ideas. I don't want to say stole, but he took a lot of the ideas from this movie for Night of the Living Dead. But um, you rooted for him, surprise, you didn't want him to die at the end. Of course, he'd been making this horrible mistake all along. Kind of like the end of the movie, Night of the Living Dead, where uh, Ben uh, got shot in the head because he thought he was a zombie. But anyway, that is The Last Man on Earth. Again... This is in the public domain, so there's a million DVDs out there of this. Most of them are of dubious quality. I believe there are a couple of decent versions out there, though. Some even have like an extra scene or two with a baby crying or something at the end. I don't know. That's what IMDb was talking about. Apparently, there's an Italian DVD also, which is pretty well done. It's letterbox and everything. So, But anyway, um, I will leave a link down below if you're looking for this. And you shouldn't pay too much for it because it's pretty darn cheap. Like I said, public domain, there's a lot of them out there. So check it out. Last Man on Earth. I'm sure it's streaming on YouTube also. In fact, I know it is. So check it out. Let me know what you think about it. Last Man on Earth. It's a really cool movie. So watch it. Bye.